there are many techniques on how being a psychologist you can help your patients deal with depression i use dabda which is an acronym for denial anger bargaining depression and acceptance let me explain this with an example a friend of mine recommended this patient to me the patient's mom called her home one day they were good friends Hi Pooja. Hi, come in, come in, come in, come in. How are you? Fine. Oh, it has been such a long time since we met. Take your seat. Yeah. I'll be right back. back. Yeah. How is Mr. Sharma? Oh, Mr. Sharma is doing good. And uh, how is Vinay? I don't know what is wrong with my son. He's not eating properly. He's not studying properly. He's not sleeping even properly. He's got these dark circles mm-hmm. below his eyes. It's been a long time since I've seen him be happy. Be the same again. Please. Don't worry. I know a psychologist. She can talk to him. Just send him to her. Everything will be fine. Hello, Vinay. Hello. So, how's your day going? Um, uh, fine, I guess. Fine. That's good. So I come directly to the point your parents have been really concerned about you these days they say that you haven't been behaving yourself it's fine i don't know some kind of phase of life maybe just nothing else it's okay you can tell me what happened everything's actually pretty good some kind of random sadness random sadness your mother told me about an incident that happened a year ago What, what, what incident? It's okay. You can tell me. Opening up is always good. I might help it's you. It's just. It's just nothing, Chuck. Tell me what happened, please. Tell me what happened. It's just that I lost my best friend. ran over her It's awful Vinay I haven't been to that place since then There's no going back Things will never change Trust me they will They will get better soon Meet me on the next Saturday at the same time okay No you don't next understand Next Saturday same time 5:30 Denial is a phase many go through. They don't agree to the fact that yes, this incident has happened. Maybe when I went through this phase too, but it didn't look like it. He knew that she had died, but he couldn't accept that he had to live without her now. He was just so used to her that he couldn't have imagined a life without her. There was a void that couldn't have been filled by anyone else. He knew that she was dead, and he blamed himself for it. That is anger. Fault. She died because of me. No, it wasn't because of you. Do not think for a second that you were responsible for whatever happened to Prachi. I don't know. Her parents think so. Everybody thinks so. But what makes you think like that? It's the look that people give me. It's just that the the hungry wolf look. they have on their faces that is their way of dealing with her death vinay do not get that into your head they are just outsourcing their sadness don't make it true and suffer 
Look, can I can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, ask me. Why is life so unfair? I mean, just why did she die? What had she done? Why did I live? Why didn't I die too? Why is this life so cruel? I mean, it's just no. You can't really say why. There is no explanation as to why life is unfair. It just is. Everything happens for a reason, Vinay. But why did she die? What was the reason for this to happen? There is a reason. There always is a reason. You just do not know it yet. But fate gave you another chance to live. It gave you a chance to start afresh. And do you want to spend it this way, depressed and alone? Ah, oh, it's not as easy as you think it is, man. It's tough. It's not impossible. This is when you start bargaining. You try to move on. You do all the things you've seen in movie montages, where the sad person is fixing themselves. You go on runs. You show up at happy hours and birthday parties. You try to smile. You do all the tried and tested techniques, but nothing ever works, and you're still heartbroken. Vinay, I want you to close your eyes and listen to me carefully. Okay? Remember the happy times you spent with her. Picture it. Do you remember the feeling you had then? Good. Now capture that feeling. Remember all the happy times you had with her. Those long drives, birthdays, random walks, the times you watched movies together and listened to music, the times you just spent talking. Imagine that happy feeling. Now, think about how she would feel seeing you like this. I'm sure she's in a happy place now, but would she be happy if she saw you like this? You have to understand that being like this would cause nothing but immense sadness to you as well as the people around you. You have to accept the fact that she's gone. You have to move on now, so that those happy memories. I never washed away by sad ones. Let out all your feelings, all your sadness. Let out all the tears that you stored in your heart for all these days, and be free. It's okay to feel shitty for a while, just as long as you don't get caught up in the idea that it will be like this forever, because it won't. Things will change. You will begin to become happier. You just won't notice the change happening, and then one day you're standing at the place where supposedly the life-changing incident of yours happened, but there are no longer tears vibrating behind your eyelids. This is Rafa. Yeah, I outlasted it. The world is still moving. Your life is still happening. You're okay. You will.